Marcia Wade. I'm a member of St. James Episcopal Church, and I'm here on behalf of my pastor, the rector, Reverend Mark Hall. He was not able to be here today with you. You've heard the tale of two cities and the differences in our community. And the way we are going to heal this is by building relationships. And relationships are built on trust. And trust is built when we hear and share one another's stories. When we learn about the things that are common to us, the things that unite us, not the things that divide us. And I want to tell you a story about my pastor, Mark Holland, and about Reverend Rushing. You would think with their different congregations and their different denominations, that they would not have so much in common. But when they sat down for lunch one day, they learned almost immediately that they had quite a bit in common. They're both engineers. They both spent their engineering career in industry. And when their career was done, they both went into the ministry. So almost immediately they found a common bond. What we are going to do here today with Together Baton Rouge is we're going to build those relationships through sharing our stories. We start with our faith institutions and our civic organizations. And we build those relationships and those institutions then support individuals through the house meetings and developing their individual relationships and sharing their stories. And it's when we hear each other's story that we understand that we all want the same thing. We want to live in a safe environment. We want good neighborhoods, we want good schools, we want health, we want the opportunity to use our talents to be productive and creative contributors to our community. My name is Father Tom Renzino, I'm pastor at St. Jean Vinay Catholic Church. I speak on behalf of my faith tradition, but I also want to speak on behalf of the pastors that have chosen to be a part of this organization. Catholic faith looks to the scriptures as our reason for actions related to issues of social responsibility and human dignity. Our belief is centered in God who makes all things new and a God who has a desire that we on earth care for the earthly city as well as our path to the kingdom of heaven. St. Jean Vianney Parish is a Roman Catholic congregation we choose to join Together Baton Rouge because of a commitment, a long-standing commitment in our church parish to be faithful citizens and to take our place with other congregations and institutions in caring for Baton Rouge. While the eastern part of our city where we live has its own gifts and challenges, what happens to the quality of life downtown and in South Baton Rouge is important to us. We live together, and how we live together in the spirit of the gospel places a responsibility on us to work with our brothers and sisters. Wherever they live in Baton Rouge, on issues that create for them and for us a better, safer, more productive life and we know to work for our brothers and sisters in doing the same. The Catholic Church joins our Islamic brothers and sisters, our Jewish congregations, and all the other Christian churches in a belief that there is a spiritual bond that connects the believing people to a faithful God and who can place in our hands and hearts the call to community in God's name. That we can work with together Baton Rouge is important for our church parish because it's one more way we can live both the gospel and a Eucharistic life. We know that we will not be able to solve all problems, but we will be able to work with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit for the common good. And that, in the end, we believe, is what the Christian life demands. And the fruitfulness of that will be God's work, 
more than it will be our own. Thank you. Delighted to have with us one of the pioneers in our community, Pastor Charles Smith, who has for years been working to improve uh, race relations in his parish, to improve our educational system, working towards reduction of crime, getting our youth involved in meaningful uh, projects. And he's going to come at this time and share some remarks with us. Pastor Smith. Thank you so much. I'm uh, in my 78th year now, and 76 of those years have been spent in this community. I've had the glorious privilege of watching this community grow in a lot of different ways. I guess uh, I can summarize what has been said here today by saying <coughs> that we are many, but we are also one. And that should be the goal of the people of this community, to recognize the sacredness of our individuality, the differences in age, differences in socioeconomic backgrounds, the differences in faith, belief, and, and the many kinds of differences that we have. But to be one, and I desire to love one another and to have this community to address the highest and best for all of its citizens. To that end, we pledge ourselves this day as a part of this organization. Thank you, God bless you. What you have heard and what you have seen uh, is a group of people who, number one, love God, number two, uh, love people, number three, love this community, and who are committed to working together to make this community one. Therefore, the name Together Baton Rouge. And we want to thank all those institutions, community-based organizations, who are now a part of us, and welcome any like-minded institutions to become a part of us.